let us now move to the sewing sewing part of it i'm going to need two for the front for you not to make a mistake just let the right side face the right side this is for the front and this is for the back two for the front and two for the back and they are lining just separate it like that for you not to make a mistake two lining for the front I mean for the front yes for the two sides front and two lining for the two sides back so let's separate it like that let's start from the front this is the both side I mean two side um, two center front these are the two center fronts this is the right side and this is the right side of it too so to sew it together with the lining this is my lining for it two lining you know it's the same term it's the same measurement the same length just place the right side on the right side like this and line into the two together like this place it on it place it on it like this place it very well please make sure you place it very well the front the front i mean the right side is facing the right side of the fabric and both lining place it on the wrong side of it like this so place it very well please so i'll now go and sew it from the waist here with half inch down to the bottom like this so now i've sewed it with half inch from the waist here down to the bottom so i'll now open it up before joining the two sides just open the lining like this open it like this then now open the fabric like this so lining will now face it inside like this so here is it here is the inside and here is the right side here is the wrong side and here is the right side as you can see that method lets the lining face the wrong side and here is the right side so to join the both sides now here is it you just take one out of it take one line in two because I'm joining one here and one on this side too so to join it now I'm going to use the right side I'm going to let the right side face the right side of it like this place it like this so I'll now take the lining I'll take the lining I'll put the lining I'll let the lining be placed on the lining like this don't make a mistake please not, not as I joined the first one it's because those ones are the centers that's why I joined it like that so fabric will be on the fabric and lining will be on the lining please don't make a mistake so i'll now go and sew it with half inch from the waist down to the bottom now i finished sewing it with half inch from the waist to the bottom so i'll now open it up here's the right side And here is the wrong side. As you can see, it's very neat. 
and beautiful. So, so I'm going to do the same the, the same method, the same sewing method on this side. Here is it? Place the right side on the right side of the fabric like this. I'm going to place the lining on the lining like this. I'm going to sew it like I sewed this one. So that's just it for the front. So let me show you how to join the back one. There is my two center back. Two center back. Don't forget that I notched the zipper side. Here is the notching side, which is the zipper side. So I'm going to separate it because I'm using one for each side. So let me separate this one, put it aside. And these are the two sides. These are the two sides. I'm going to separate them two. Here's a lining for it. So here is my one of my center back. Here is the zipper side. I'm not going to touch that side now. So to join my back, the sides to my back. I'm going to place this one of the sides. I'm going to place here is a zipper side. I'm not going to join it now with it. I'm going to join it on this side. So place the fabric on each other. Make sure the right side face each other like this. The right side is facing each other like this. Here is my zipper side. Here is my side. And here is my center back. One of my center back. So, I will now place my lining on it. Here is my lining for my center back, one of my center back. So make sure you place it very well, please. You know, I've already notched where the zipper will be. So don't make a mistake, please. Place your lining on the wrong side of it. The second lining, place it as well for the side. So I'm now going to sew it with half inch from the waist down to the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of it. Now I have finished joining it, the lining to the fabric. Here is the front, as you can see. There is it. These are the two sides, and these are the these are the sides. I mean, these are the two center front and these are the two sides so here's it as you can see it's very neat and beautiful here's the right side and here is the wrong side of it as you can see very nice and beautiful so before closing up the sides i'll first of all shape my skirt because i've already I'm, i've not shaped my waist out I'm going to fold it like this. Fold it like this. Here's it. Make sure you fold it very well. Let it match each other at the edge here very well. If you like, you can pin it to make it accurate. So I want to shape my waist out. So you can use this method for the six pieces skirt to this sewing method you can use it for six pieces method to make it neat and beautiful so so it's very well into two so 
at the top here now, at the waistline here, my waist is 32 divided by 4 is, is 8 inches plus 2 inches similar ones. So, 32, 32 divided by 4 is 8 inches, plus 2 inches, same allowance, 10 inches. Here's the 10 inches. So, I now measure from the waist here, I measure 8 inches. Yeah, I'll get my hip. So, I'll now shape it out with my curve roller, like this. Shape it with my curve roller. If you don't have a curve roller, you can use your free hand. Just make sure it's the curve a little bit like this. So that's just it for now to shape your waist. So I'll now cut it out. Now cut it out like this. So, it out like that. So, I will now go and close it up, both sides. Go and close it up. To close it up, you just open it like this. Open it up. So, to let the lining face the right side of the fabric like this. Here is it. Here is the right side of the fabric. To let the both sides of it close up, just open it like this. Open it, the lining and the fabric. Open it like this and fold this in like this to let the lining face the right side of it. So let it face the right side. You have to fold the remaining one in like this. Here is it? I will now go and sew it with half inch from the waist down to the bottom. You do the same thing on this side. Now see, I've sewed it with half inch from the waist down to the bottom. L look how it looks like when I fold it in. So I'll now bring it out like this. I'll put my hand inside from the bottom and bring it out like this. So, so that's it. Here is it. Here is it. As you can see, I've closed it up already. So, I'll do the same thing on this side too. Open it like this. Fold the remaining one in. Place the lining on the right side of the fabric. Make sure it's placed very well. And sew it with half inch from the waist down to the bottom. So here is a back side. I've sewed it like I explained. Here is it? I've sewed it like I explained. I'll we'll just open it up like this. Open it up like this. Here is the zipper side. I will now go and close up the zipper side, open it like this, use the, set, the method I used for the front, for it. I fold, let the right side face the lining, like this, the zipper side, I'll close it up, then close it up, I use half inch from the waist down to the bottom, I'll do the same thing on the second side of the back. Try, I'm done with it. This is the front. Pull it out. Here is it. So, here is the front. As you can see, it's very nice and beautiful. So, let's move on to the back. Here is the back. I've closed up the zipper side. Here is the super side, I've closed it up. I'm going to pull it out, bring it out from the bottom, like I did on the front side. 
So here's it. So I'll now shape my backside, the waist of my backside. Then pull out the second one because I'm going to place it on each other. Place the right side on the right side of each other. So here's it. Hope you can see what I'm doing very well. Is it I'm going to place it on each other like this? Let the right side face each other like this. So my waist is 32, like I said earlier. Divided by 4 is 8 inches plus 2 inches, same allowance. I'll make it 10 inches plus another 1.5 inches for the zipper. I'll make it 11 inches. So I'll now measure on the waistline here. I'll measure my 11.5 from this side, from the zipper side. 11.5. My waist is 32. Divided by 4 is 8 inches plus 2 inches, same allowance. That is 10 inches plus one and a half for, for zip allowance. That give me 11.5. So here is it. So from the waist there, I'll now measure eight inches. So I'll now shape it out. That's just it. So now to shape it. You can even cut it together with the front. You just place your front like I did in there. Place it on it, then measure your zipper allowance out before you place your front. You will now measure it, then you now cut it. Doing this one separately, you will now cut it. So I will now go and close the side. I will close it up like I did on the front. Close it up like this. Let the lining face the right side of the fabric. When you fold this one in like this, then now let it face each other. I'll do the same thing on this. I'll use half inch to sew it from the waist. So I'm done sewing the back, the fabric with the lining. I'll pull it out from the bottom. So, here's it. Here's the back side. With the tail. And this is the second one. I'll pull it out. And I'll now give it nice ironing. Give it nice ironing. This is the boat's back. And this is the front. I'll give it nice ironing. But before giving it nice ironing, I want to finish this. I want to finish it with bias tape. There is the front. I'm going to open it up like this. Then place it on it like this. I now sew it with quarter of an inch. After sewing, I will now fold it in to top stitch. Let me go and sew it. I'll come and show you. Now, I've sewed the bias tape on it, on the right side of it, to make it neat. So, I'll we'll now go and fold it in like this. I'll fold it in like this. So, I'll fold it in like this. After folding like this, I'll now top stitch it like this. Make sure you always trim all the excess thread and fabric to make your job neat, please. So, so I'll do the same thing on the two sides of the back. So when I finish sewing, I will come and show you. Now I've top stitched it. Look how neat and beautiful it is now. So after doing the same thing on the both side of the back, I'll now iron it out before 
final sh shaping on it. So let me go and high on it before proceeding to the final. These are the boots back. I finished the waist too with the bias tape. Here is it, and I've high on it. Look how beautiful and neat it is. I'll place it on each other like this. I'll let the right side face each other because I want to shape my skirt out. But first of all, I'm going to place the front on it to get my zipper side like this. This is the front. I've high on it too. I'm going to fold it into two like this and place it on it like this. Going to place it like this. This is the easiest way of getting your zipper side. So I will now mark it. I use my chalk to mark it like this to trace it out like this. So when I reach, I'm going to measure before my knee line. From the waist i've used the half here so i'm going to measure 18 inches now from my waist that's my before the knee line so remember well while, while i was cutting i measured three inches upward from my before the knee line so from that three inches that's where i rule out my tail if you remember I hope you can see what I'm drafting very well. So I will now shape my tail out. Just take your ruler and roll it straight down to the bottom. Now I'm going to use my ruler to rule it out from here, from this point down to the bottom here. So let me place my ruler now. See how I placed it to let the tail form very well. So I just do it like this down to the bottom, like this slantly. Hope you can see what I'm doing very well. So you have to join it slantly from here down to the bottom like this so as you can see the tail has already been formed see this the distance from this center front now so that's my tail and this is my zipper side from the waist this is my zipper side so i'll now go and join it together now fold this one put it apart i'll go and join it together but before joining i'm going to measure 8 inches for my zipper opening because this place has, has to be open for my zipper to contain my zipper I'm going to measure 8 inches so I'm going to start my sewing from here now so I'll just pin here I'll just pin it down and I'll start my sewing from here from this point down to the bottom I'll come and show you when I finish. Now I've saw it from here, from this point down to the bottom. Now, see, this is the place I'm going to fix my zip. Here is it. I'm going to pin it back because I'm going to shape my side. So let me use the front to shape my skirt, the side of the skirt. Here is my front. I'm going to use it to shape my skirt. I'm sorry for my small table, please. Let me fold it into two, two so that for you to see what I'm what I want to mark very well. Here is my waist. My waist is 32. Divided by 4 is 8 inches. I'm going to mark that 8 inches on my waistline here. 
to my waistline I'm going to mark eight inches here there's it eight inches from my waist to where i'm going to get my hip that'll give me i'm going to measure eight inches so on my hip line i'm going to measure let me first of all get my before the nail length too to be 18 inches i've used half to knit up the waistline so on my hip line i'm going to input the quarter of my hip my hip is 40 quarter of it will be 10. if you like you can add quarter of an inch for your ease for it not to be too tight on you so i'm going to shape it from my waist to my hip line on my before the knee line quarter of my hip is 10 hinges minus minus half or one inch it depends on how coffee you have how curve you want it to be but as for me i'm using I'm using 9.5. I deducted half from it. So I don't want it to be too cough for me to be able to work very well. If you want it to be cough very well, deduct one from it from that 10 inches. But I deducted half from the 10 inches. I, that is, is the quarter of my hip. Here is it now. I measured 9.5 instead of 10. You can measure nine it as is as you want it so i'll now connect my my point like this there is it now as you can see the shape is forming so from here now to the bottom, slantly like this. So, I'll do the same thing on the other side, but to make it easier, you can just do it like this. Hold it here. Then here now, hold it, mark it. Here, hold it. Mark it. You mark on your finger. When you hold like this, you just mark on it like this. So let me just join it. There is it. Join it like this. So when you get here, before the knee line, you will use your ruler. Join it slightly like this. From there, from this line down to the bottom. As you can see, the shape has already been formed. You will now place it on your back and pin it down. I'm pinning the zip area very well because I left it open for the zipper. Now join it. Open the back up like this. Place your front that you've already shipped. Hope you can see what I'm doing very well. So just place it on each other like this. Let the right side face each other. Then pin it down. Pin the both side down to the bottom. Make sure the side plays on each other very well. Don't mind the tail because you know, tail is at the back. The back will be spreader than the front, but don't mind the tail. Just Fold it in like this. The tail, place your front, let it accurate like this at the bottom here. Pardon me for my small table, please. Let the side accurate. 
because the tail will let the back bigger than the front but don't mind it just make sure the side match each other very well you fold your tail in and let it face each other then i'm going to go and sew on that line so when i now i've sewed the both side on the line that i marked out here is it i've sewed it in the second side i've sewed it down now i'll turn it to the right side so look at it so i'm going to remove the paint that i used to close up where i'm going to fix my zip so here is it here is my zipper where my zipper will be and here is the tail formed so to avoid squeeze here where the tail will come out where the tail come out and to avoid my side here to avoid squeeze on the side here that is where my cuff is i'll just turn it to the wrong side and notch a little bit please don't let it touch the sewing notch it a little bit this is my side both side notch it to avoid squeezing at the right side of the fabric and this is my tail side you have to notch it too to avoid squeezing please so i'll now turn it to the right side of the fabric here is the back this is where my zip will enter now this is where i'm going to fix my zip here is the zip i'm using i'll just sew it to it I'm going to sew it to it then i'm going to finish the bottom I'm going to hem it with half inch i mean 1.5 inch i'm going to give it double folding like this and i'm going to sew it all around so after that i'll now iron in it i'll finish it with ironing so, as you can see it has formed so this is where i'm going to stop for today this is the full details on how to cut eight pieces kelt cut together with tail at the zipper side sew with lining if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support my channel and if you have any question for me to explain to you very well you can join me on my facebook group details to sewing created by adenike akuridi adenike and if you have any question pertaining to this you can leave a comment in the box below thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye